Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. The matter, he don't enter town. Tinubu, I don't know if Buhari will work against him. Because as we are hearing now, the presidency has released a statement saying that they have heard that Tinubu plans to deal with Buhari if he wins this election. Remember, there was an outburst. This is not the first time. The first outburst became a hit record, uh, Emilio Kong when the Pirate Confraternity released an album with it to say, Amy Locon, remember that level now? And they began to sing Baba and everything. They began to sing those songs. Again, in the same Mugun state, uh, Shiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu told the uh, crowd that were with him that Buhari is holding Fwe, redesigning Naira, all because he does not want him to win. However way he does it, he will still win. And now the presidency is responding accordingly, saying we have heard what uh, our brother Tinubu is saying. Uh, so it is a serious matter. You see, and so now matter we say it need urgent attention. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, we have heard that Tinubu plans to deal with Buhari if he wins. Charles. Agu reveals with less than a month to the 25th to the most anticipated general election in Nigeria, recent democratic history, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, Charles, has come out to accuse the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, of nursing motives against President Muhammad Buhari if elected as the president of the country by February. Speaking during an interview on Arise TV this weekend program, the issue PDP said, We have heard of this and we are really um, wondering what Ashiwaju mean by what he has said. Speaking during an interview on Arise TV this week program with Summer Sambo a few minutes ago, Agu, who is a spokesperson of the Atiku Ukowa Campaign Council, alleged that his party has heard of the intention to of Tinubu to deal with President Muhammad Buhari over certain misgivings towards the president during the eight years tenure. Tinubu is having his way with so with this many accusation against our president because Buhari is not used to joining issues with individuals. Let me remind you, when the PDP conducted its primaries after Tinubu won that election, the first thing he said was like a threat to our president. He said, it is time to pay you back. That I intentionally made you wait for me today because you have also made me wait. You too should also suffer what I've suffered. We also have it on good authority that even, even in his close circle, Tinubu has made it clear that if he wins, he's going to take steps to deal with President Buhari and those that work closely with him. And what are his reasons? He told them Buhari did not allow him to make the kind of money he used to make while he was the, while he was the president of Lagos State. He said, so he wants the, na the, nation, the national post to be made available to him just the same way he has access to the revenue in Lagos. Tinubu believed that there were persons he brought into the economy who are the course of who in the course of time have taken out by Buhari. A typical example is the man known as Flower, who was brought in to handle a federal internal revenue. Tinubu is not happy, and all these statements you hear are making him uh, making him express his anger towards Muhammadu Buhari. So matters reaching us is that Tinubu has plans for Buhari and in event, in a, in eventually the, the plans will be materialized because um, he knows that Buhari, things that Buhari are doing, have been doing to him. He's watching them closely and um, in the process of time in due course, Buhari will hear from him. Uh, Buhari will hear from him in due course. Say because he stood with Buhari, and now that it's Buhari's turn to stand with him, Buhari is trying to, you know, turn the other way as if 
you know, they've not been together as if, you know, he has not stood with him. Well, that is their business, Nigerians. We are not the reasons why they should be settling their scores. If they have scores, they should settle it among themselves, ain't it? What you and I should be aiming at doing is ensuring that at the end of the day, we are voting in the right candidates. We do not allow people, okay, persons who have no intention or interest of our nation at heart to get into the position of leadership. Because when they do, are uh, you listening? Yes. When they do, you and I will be a great beneficiary of whatever happened. We we'll have to, we we'll have to deal with it. Mm. So it is, it, they say like the English adage goes, it says a word is enough for the wise. Yes. So we, we should be the ones to go out there and vote for the candidates we want. We should not allow some people be the determinant. Because at the end of the day, if you put people there, people will be people. And people really want what is, what is, you know, what is for them. Not because um, you are the object of the reason why they are making certain decision. You know, that may not be their main goal and purpose. Their main goal and purpose may be first and foremost for them. And so we need to understand that Niger as Nigerians, as, as you and I, we need to begin to, you know, reevaluate some of these things and ensure that at the end of the day, we're not leaving ourselves to chance, leaving ourselves in the hands of those who seemingly do not care about whatever happens in this country because they want some certain things done in their way. And they've forgotten that they are, it is not a dictatorship. It is not a place where they come and they decide what happened to the people. They've forgotten. So Nigerians, it's up to you and I to ensure that the right candidate gets to the place to the relevant authority. Otherwise, you'll be surprised what we follow. Nobody should sit back there and think that all of a sudden things will just fall in place. No, it doesn't work that way. People make things happen. Yes, people make it happen. And so it is important we begin to see see and have that, that sort of uh, idea and mindset so that we can move forward. Other than that, we may not be able to move forward in a hurry. Okay, if we want to see you know, the best, we just need to begin to rise up and ensure that at the end of the day, every single one of us is doing all that we can to get us into the right places. Remember, it's up to you and I to ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. For a long time as a nation and as a people, we have suffered in the hands of those who say they want to lead. But most of them are really coming with selfish purposes and interests backing them. You and, you and I may not be the object of why they are fighting hard to become leaders. God bless. Bye for now.